dog, but really, I would like to have yeah. that at home. So uh, yeah, this is what they can win tomorrow if they uh, if they actually summed up as the best team out there here at the Abstergo Invitational. And um, yeah, but for now, wow. yes, they can. <laughs> Love it. I just want to touch it once more. Mm. Yeah, mm. that's real nice. I it want is. that. Me too. I, I already told him I'm I'm gonna steal it at some point. Really? I mean, I obviously don't have anyone like who knows, as I only mentioned it on stream. It's gonna be very. I'll sneaky. cause a, I'll cause a distraction. You steal it. That and sounds then good. Then I'll meet you later. Okay, right? so <laughs> I would I would say tonight we're working on our like smoke bomb stun wire trap. Bombs yeah, combo, <laughs> and uh, then it's gonna happen for sure. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're gonna see the last uh, engagement in just a bit. The warm up should start anytime soon, and it's gonna be le furtif, le furtif, le furtif, le furtif, le furtif against uh, assassin français. Assassin français. Just glad I don't have to say Templar since. Oui. Templar saint. Templar saint. Le Templar saint. Was that a sound uh, right, right? Yeah, it sounded well, sound sound fine to me. Right? Sounded fine, sound to, fine me. to me. Good, that, it's, that it obviously was good. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, out of those two, I mean, we saw both teams playing already. Would you say either of them is stronger? Or, or would you say it's going to be very even? Um, well, I mean, the, the Assassin Francais, they did pull things back really well. Um, <sighs> it, it, this is still such an open playing field, it isn't is. it? And it's anyone's game. Yeah, but I, I actually like that. There's nothing I hate more. And I'm gonna, yeah, I openly talk about my hate here. But what I really, really strongly dislike, hate. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I really don't like that. If, if the, you go to a tournament and you have like those obvious winners, like you have the favorite to go into as a favorite, and they come out on top. I was like, uh, yeah. great, yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> It's like it's like throwing money at their faces on purpose. It's like, yeah, yeah, here, come on, take that. Why would you even play anymore? But uh, it's nice to see such evened up teams. And uh, there, once more, we see the score: uh, nine for Templassin. Uh, Les Furtifs are in the second place with six, and Assassin Français are in the third place at the moment with three. But they can they can catch up uh, like either of them can still. So that's going to be very interesting to see who is going to take it. And I yes. think if we are, are we actually going to make uh, a tiebreaker match uh, between the ones in case there is a tie, like for today? I know that's definitely what yeah. we're going to do tomorrow in case there is a tie on the, on the points I've like heard overall. I've it I'm not really sure. I've, um, did I hear earlier that there's going to be possibly an assassinate Playoff. Yeah, um, yeah, actually, but, there but was the. Um, was that for tomorrow? Or for they today, can then? choose their strongest player. Yeah, that each has a champion. Yeah, each has um, a champion, and then well. the champions have to uh, assassinate each other. Yeah, which I actually, yeah. I actually kind of hope that's <laughs> happening. <laughs> actually, we don't want to see it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that will be that will be very interesting. Uh, to see and once more remind you guys uh, go on Twitter let us know your opinion of the tournament so far let us know your opinion of the game <laughs> we'd like to hear some feedback do you think that was that was interesting for you guys to watch either as, a, as someone who's playing the game themselves or even as a newcomer I'd actually like the uh, like to have the opinion of people who are not like familiar with the game uh, as of now I mean how, how was that for you to watch like Assassin's Creed for the first time or have you been playing it right away yeah no I, I was fascinated with it to start with um, because I, I first played uh, Brotherhood Assassin's Creed Brotherhood but I played the story mode first and I I forgot that it had a <laughs> multiplayer so I went into it and I found it fascinating, and mm. I was terrible to start with, <laughs> really, really bad for maybe about six months, and I could not win a match. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, then it I came got a good. long way then. <laughs> I, <would laughs> I <say>. did, <laughs> I did, I did. No, I, th I just think it's interesting. I mean, when when I told like friends and stuff, like, so you're gonna cast Assassin's Creed Three multiplayer, and everyone was just like. There's a multiplayer. <laughs> like, yeah. Most people didn't even know about it. I was like, okay, I guess I guess I have to watch that this weekend. As uh, I mean, I obviously didn't know what to expect either. What I what I heard, I have to do it, and I was like taking a look at it for the first time because yeah, I know I knew the single player mode. A everyone knows Assassin's Creed yeah. is famous for having a really cool single player, very interesting, nice storyline, lovely graphics and everything. <laughs> but uh, oh, all right, uh, <laughs> the Furtifs are ready with the chips as their cheerleader. Unfortunately and disappointingly, uh, they. they they're not wearing skirts. I was expecting like pom pom skirt action and like some cool choreographies. <laughs> really? No. No. <laughs> well, I think it's harder good. 
<laughs> and I, mean, I, I technically think it would have been disturbingly to look at. That I that probably no one yeah. would have wanted to see <laughs> hairy French guys in short skirts. <laughs> not sure, not sure. Although, those, are, th those are very handsome and fair young men, so maybe they could have pulled it off. Well, but I, we I would never like find the pom -poms, out. I guess. The pom poms, I guess. Go yeah. with the pom poms. Yeah. Maybe leave They'd the skirt or wear it over your pants. <laughs> I don't know. Like one of those things is going to happen. Obviously, the team are preparing at the moment. Their cheerleaders are hyping them up. We're going to start mm -hmm. in, in a few minutes already. And I'm really, really excited. And as for domination, I mean, it's it sometimes feel like the different modes are like almost a different game. So I guess even yes. even like whoever is coming out on top today and whoever seems to be the strongest team, it is very. I mean, the skill gap isn't very big. But yeah. like, do you think that's gonna change a lot tomorrow, potentially, or or do you think it's gonna be just as close? Mm. Potentially, it can change a lot because domination is a completely different mode altogether. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's basically a tug of war, <laughs> is what it is. And the game can end prematurely as well. You know, it might not last the entire yeah. like ten minute duration. Um, it's a completely different ball game. Yeah, so I think that's we'll, going we'll to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be exciting. Definitely going to be exciting. And we are starting the game in just a bit. There's going to be a warm up once more for 10 minutes first. And uh, there we see, uh, yeah, there we see again, l'assassin français uh, with uh, their. He d wh why didn't he do anything? He just looked into the camera. And <laughs> <laughs> Did he know he was on? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> do, do you know? Disappointing, <laughs> disappointing. That's a bad cheerleader. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I said it. I said <laughs> it, guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they lose, we know why. <laughs> All the fault to the cheerleaders. Yeah. It's definitely going to happen. Oh, I'm just, I'm just really excited. And that day went by so so fast. So incredible fast. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> now, you're, you're an incredible cheerleader. If you ever watch that, we love you. Not really, just <laughs> waving. Like he could have done anything else. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, bless. How would you cheer up your guys then? Or do, would you feel because literally, if I would be the cheerleader for them, I would only feel like I disturbed them. I, <laughs> like, I would. I would probably say if you win, I'll take you all out for steaks and beers. That's your, yeah. See, that's your. That's and your if word. you don't, then you're getting nothing. Bragdon, like, bra <laughs> is it no Bragdon? No, how do you say that? They're bribe them. Bribe. A bribe. bribe them. That was the word. Yeah, so uh, this is the warm up. 10 minutes, and uh, the first map we're gonna see is the Northwest Passage. Or did they? No, they, they never changed the, uh, the map after the warm up, did they? I can't actually that, remember. That was the last map that we've just played uh, when we just played our <laughs> friendly. Yeah, and uh, it, it's not the map you're most fond of, to say the least. Uh, not, not really, not, <laughs> not for team modes, not for team modes. Yeah. I, I don't know why or what it is about this map, um, but I mean, it's a really nice map. Did you know as well when they have the nighttime version of this map, it shows the Aurora Borealis as well, you know, the northern lights, mm. if you look up into the sky. Okay, guys, if you're not too busy with dying, <laughs> on the map, please look at the sky during yeah, the night time. It's really nighttime. beautiful and it's so realistic as well. I'm gonna do that and in case I die whilst being in awe with the sky. I, I'm gonna blame you. Yeah. I'm probably gonna we'll ring you up and Cheers. be all cry like, I got killed because of the sky. It's all your fault. So, uh, yeah, once more warm up, which as we saw in our friendly game doesn't mean anything as they're not really showing much of their uh, skill set. As of now and um, now, I kind of forgot which team was the one. Which uh, I don't know. They are the ones. Uh, Assassin Francais are the ones who play on the PC. So those two teams shouldn't be familiar with each other, should they? Well, they are now. No. <laughs> oh, well, now they are. Yeah. yeah. So, but they shouldn't <laughs> no, have been not. facing off against each other. Just like uh, the uh, Templassin didn't face off against the Assassin Francais. Yeah. Yeah, you can't cross-platform in this game, so yeah. if, if they're PC players and the other ones are PS3, they wouldn't have faced each other before. Yeah, so we will see if that gives uh, Assassin Francais uh, the, uh, the edge, maybe, or even the other team the yeah. edge, uh, as I said. They don't know each other's place oh, so well. Dear. That was a good that stun right there, and a second stun as well. And will he get? No, he won't get away. Well, still, that was well he, played by him. See, he's just walked away from his teammate when he should have revived him. Mm. For I mean, it's only 50 points, but those 50 points can make all the difference, you know? Yeah, I mean, we saw, yeah, we saw it yeah. in the first one. It's the same, like, grand finishing. Yeah. Like, if you can get those points, why not do yeah. it? Definitely get them. Oh, and there he goes. 
So yeah, we're gonna have a warm up on each side once more. And then it will start for sure, which is gonna be the last one today. It still is anyone's game. Any of these teams can still take the lead and win uh, today at least and uh, get some extra points. I think for winning, the, like being the day winner, it should get you like extra two points, which can make the difference in the end. Really yes, can. it can do. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what is gonna happen. We still have one minute and 20 about. Oh. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of chases going on. I think they're just playing, aren't they? That yeah, I don't think they, anyone they is really taking it too seriously. playing like this for real. <laughs> it's like very sneakily running away. <laughs> like, why not? Yeah, no, they, they're they definitely not playing for real. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have been an interesting move. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. I, I, I don't know how that happened, but he. he it well, did happen. He, he, it, but it happened, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, obviously only like checking out, trying out a little bit. What do you normally do during a warm up? Like, are you are you actually playing series or like? Do, would you even need a warm up? I uh, yeah yeah <laughs> um, yeah I guess so um, because I have to get used to um, obviously the controller. I've a I actually did set up my abilities incorrectly. <laughs> Because the way I have it at home, I have my smoke bomb on my right ability button and my tripwire on my left. Mm -hmm. And I put them on the wrong way around oh, no. when I set them up just here now. And so I kept throwing tripwire bombs when I meant to throw smoke bomb. I really confused myself. I mean, the players came in already on Friday to set everything up. But that's like, it really makes a huge difference. I mean, if you ever played outside of your place, your own place, if it was at a, uh, on someone else's PC or something, you just, you just know it makes a difference. It, it always sounds yeah. like a cheap excuse for losing. Like, you know, yeah. it wasn't my setup, but it actually is like it, that. Like, it, it actually yeah. is harder to not play it <laughs> like whatever you used to. Yeah, I was, uh, completely agree. Yeah. So I would say that's the only reason why you guys lost. Yeah, so, because totally. I had my ability buttons the wrong way around. See? Awesome. Yeah, thanks. Dear. But also, uh, just, uh, Noctalia, I think, mentioned it. Uh, she thought, I'm not sure if it actually was that way, but I, did, I didn't check. But she said that the French Baguette team uh, actually didn't change their abilities when they went from Pursuer to Target. So... I, I, didn't, I, I, didn't, didn't, I didn't notice. Stop, I wouldn't have been able to because I could only see what's on my screen. Yeah. Um, we don't so use I copycat don't. then. <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> I did try to use decoy and glimmer at some point just because I've never tried that combination before and I thought it'd be quite funny. <laughs> was it funny or was it the glimmer? The glimmer works nicely. Yeah, that was quite good. Um, and I set off, I think, two decoys, but nobody fell for that. So I, I changed my ability sets back. I was only playing with it just to experiment. Yeah, uh, that's also a reason why you could have lost. See, now we fancy yeah, already. Yeah, I know, all right, this is all this, my fault This is now. good. Oh this we do troubleshooting here, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll that's work right. doubly hard tomorrow on domination <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> to make up for it. No food for you tonight. You're going to stay here and practice. <laughs> <laughs> all night. We have high expectations. <laughs> and don't you come home, girl, before you ain't pro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're very serious about this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what... what does he actually have, Blackie? We have the Animus Shield. Or what was the other one? E and V? I didn't I'm see it. I'm not sure what he's... I'll, I'll have to cool down. He's got a gun, I think. No, he's, he's got, got the knives. knives. So he's got the Animus Shield, the knives, and... Is that his own tripwire bomb? No, I don't think so. I think the tripwire was... I mean, it can't be, since it was still in cooldown. I, yeah, I'm just waiting for it to cool down, because I, I didn't <laughs> Go see away, what cool he down. had. He don't even lift. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Well placed internet lingo. Uh, do you even move? <laughs> yeah, do, do you even move? <laughs> so E in two, one. Uh, He's uh, it's a uh, smoke bomb. No, I yeah, thought it bomb. would be. Should have oh, said geez. it. Then he would have looked really sick doing Can predictions. Can he get a double escape? He can't get a double escape, but he can uh, smoke bomb. Oh my goodness me, Animus that Shield. That was unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> That's what I would think if I get killed. Like, ah, oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Durr. That was so bad. <laughs> okay, well. So, yeah, it like, looks like that warm-up is actually fairly close. And it actually looks like they're not as... Uh, like, the, it looks like they got a bit more serious in between the warm-up now. Like, it seems like they're making more of an effort to actually kill. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? 
th I think before they were just messing around a little bit. All right, but I think so the egos kicked in. They're like, well, even though it's a warm-up, I don't want to lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I must admit, I was like that. <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that's what happened to me at first. I was like, yeah, it's a fun game between <laughs> friends, but I'm going to win and I'm going to crush you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it just happens. You can't help it. It's all human. It's all human. That was the knife going oh. out and the smoke bomb right afterwards. I think and he, he really had to do that one. Yeah, he, he had to run because the, the guy smoke bombed. As soon as he got knifed, he dropped the smoke bomb, so mm. he would have got caught in that if he'd have carried on. Right, but... And now he's stuck with no abilities. Oh, baiting. Oh, dear. Ouch. Very uncomfortable. Gunshot through the back. Now, in this tournament, you're not allowed to craft any of your abilities. Oh, you're not? You're not allowed to craft See, them. I did not know that. Uh, so, yeah, even the friendly that we've just played, we're not allowed to craft our abilities. Uh, which one do you so normally craft, then? All of them. Yeah, but, like, what? what's your favorite stuff to craft there in, in general? Like, what, what crafting? Poison. <laughs> Is it really? Craft the poison so you get more points. Because it's just a standard 200 points, but if you craft it, you'll get 300 um, if you craft it for the points. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're not allowed to do crafting here, but I chose to have um, perk, uh, um, a lost streak and mm -hmm. a perk of boost cooldown and overall cooldown. Yeah. And after I died a few times, it resets my ability straight away so that they're always available. And that's really handy. Yeah, so that does <laughs> sound really handy. Yeah, it is, because lie. obviously I can't craft or anything. So, yeah, that just makes my abilities ready all the time. It's like the only thing I actually was like getting really excited ex excited about crafting was the animal shield because you get more than one charge. So I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. no, I can kill me. Yeah, <laughs> Tim and I went over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I, I really like that. I in general like that system with the abilities. I mean, it's 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 a lot of abilities, but it's not too many. Yeah, like it's it's still you, you still get a good overview of what's useful for you, and, and most of all, all of them are useful. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, depending on how you play, there, there's always something for you out there. Yeah. Because there is a lot of games out there which just have, like, a gazillion abilities. Yeah. But, like, half of them are never used because it's just, like, well, it's, it's not really good. Yeah. So, like, it, it, it really crystallizes out the the really good ones and everything else is, like, completely left aside. It, it doesn't feel to me like it, it's really like that in, in this game. Uh, depending on the mode, there, there's a big variety of what you can use, which yeah. is still useful. So, uh, yeah, the warm-up ended and that means we're actually gonna be in the first map already mm -hmm. anytime soon and uh, I, I wouldn't know who to bet my jelly beans on yeah we, we're always betting in jelly beans oh jelly beans oh tim and i were gonna bet in money <laughs> i'll go with jelly no, beans, jelly beans. I'll go with jelly beans. <laughs> money betting uh, is bad kids do not do that but if you want to trade jelly beans on the streets do it on the streets <laughs> makes it sound really badass doesn't it <laughs> so you want to yeah, have some bad. red jelly beans <laughs> i prefer some blue Actually, ones let's get, let's get some red <laughs> mm, jelly beans no but i um i don't know I, I really don't know i mean i would have like overall of the teams uh being really mm. non-biased i would have said uh, le, le furtif uh, i think they played overall the best or, or at least i i, I they kind of grew on me i don't know watching them play I, yeah. it's been i don't know i, I would I would have said they would win overall today, but never know. Yeah, you never see, I, I actually really want uh, um, Assassin Francais to win now just because they're behind. And I feel, I feel really bad for them. <laughs> is, that, is that how you go up against, like, in any sports? It's just like, oh, soccer. Well, I don't have a favorite team, but the one which is all down at the bottom, they should win. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, makes you such absolutely. a sweet person. I'm always rooting for the winners. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we see scores being added live. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so yeah, once more an overview for, uh, overview for you as the rankings go. Tom, uh, Tom Placins currently the first place, but everything can change after uh, this uh, three uh, maps. Furtifs, uh, Furtifs is uh, the ones we're going to follow first, and they currently the target. And it seems like they're uh, pretty much almost all hiding together. Yeah, they're, so three, they're yeah. off to a very good start already because they're gaining like almost maximum points there. Well, they are now gaining maximum points. And it is actually a, a decent start. Just have to be careful not to get trapped right away. Their knife comes out. Oh, good stun here. That was that was good. Yeah, that was well played. 
So we'll see. We see a smoke bomb on the other side. I think someone just got killed. Yeah, Mallet is uh, dead. Let's see how it goes for uh, oh, T Bode. Another, another. Uh, another stun now. There is a knife coming out. Will he get away? Oh, no. Yeah. no oh. Now he gets that knife from the Close. back. That, that was good. That, that, that was, was good. That is a good start. So we see that's definitely going to make for an interesting game. The uh, point gap ain't that big either. Virgin, uh, Virginian Plantation, which is, I think, your favorite map. It is. Yeah, yeah. I love this map. I really do. What, I think what it, exact reason? I mean, you probably already explained it to Tim, but I just want to uh, hear um, it again. No, I... I uh, I just love it. I, it's, I like the house in the middle. I want to buy it. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, it's, it's just really good. There's some, there are some invisible places on this map as well where you can hide so well. Um, just here by all this trellising as well, if you put tripwire bombs down in there, they sort of disappear underneath mm -hmm. and you don't see them. Um, so, yeah, if you're, if you're the opposition, you're walking up there, you won't see that tripwire bomb on the floor like you can here. Because you, you'll be able to see like a little silver glow, a, a little silver disc or yeah. something. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so there's a few like places that can cause that to be invisible on this map. And there's a couple of bushes too that you can like hide behind and be like pretty much invisible. And also it's just map along probably this makes area. for a really interesting play there. And the gazebo as well, um, that, that's really handy to hide under there. Not enough people do that because it will also prevent you from getting like acrobat killed or aerial killed. Right, so our pursuer are currently in the lead, which is uh, pretty darn normal as we figured that by now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, not, not a huge gap really, really not a huge gap. Let me see the pursue, and he's oh. getting a contested kill. An yeah. honorable death for uh, Krico. Kriso? How, how did we end up naming him? Krico? Kriso? Don't. I, I don't remember. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I've met about 30,000 people this weekend, so it's really hard to remember. 30,000? I haven't seen yes. that many in here. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, that was a good bomb right there. Oh, dear. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Some stressful stuff. Uh, yeah, Melky just uh, unfortunately died. Uh, 700 points. That's a pretty good kill for Blackie right there. Oh, no, that did put them in uh, quite a lead already. I mean, it's uh, 3,000, although we still have one and a half uh, minutes left. Minutes, yeah, one and a half minutes. That way, right? So, will he? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Past no, now. no Why no, would you chase? No. That no. Was that oh, no. Shouldn't have happened, to say the least. No, he should have stayed in that blend group to get the escape for more yeah. points because he's just made himself really vulnerable then. And of course, he got killed because he went to do it. You know, he went for a chase stun. And they really put themselves in the lead right now. I mean, look at the scores. We still have a minute. Uh, it obviously, it's still possible to catch up to yeah. that. But the uh, question is if they will get smoke bomb going for the stun. Hannah should get out of there. Uh, he's getting the knives, and now obviously the other one should come out of his stun. Where is he? Uh, good smoke bomb oh. once more. Another stun. That's actually really well played oh, by wow. Les Furtifs. And they both got away. Didn't expect that, to be honest. I actually thought one of them is going to. Well, be gone, the, but. Oh no, this guy wants ah. to. Uh, unfortunate. <laughs> I was <laughs> gonna say he really needs to keep running right now, but um, yeah. Uh, climbing he was ain't quite kill. running, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was within kill range, so that was unfortunate. Ah. Uh, and is it going to be another one? Yeah, it's definitely going to be another one. Not going in too early to make sure. Well, there's about a 5,000 point lead at the moment. That's quite a lot, considering that we don't even have a minute left anymore. So uh, that could, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's not going to happen. It's a 2 a 1 and the end of the first turn on that map. And. Uh, that was more ob like more obvious than I thought. Like not obvious. What do I want to say? Help me. Where's the word? One sided. I don't know. Well, what, 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 would you, what, what do you want to say? It's. That I didn't thought it's gonna be such a big gap after the first oh, part. Oh, just unexpected, I guess. No, I didn't. I thought it's gonna be a lot closer. Right at the get go. But I mean, it still can change with now having the furtifs. Yeah. Furtifs. I, I must admit, oh yeah, I expected it to be quite close as well, but 
they suddenly just stole that lead by quite a vast amount. That's pretty good. I can't quite pin down where it happened though. Like, what, what moment did they I get don't ahead know. so much? I think it was I just kind of missed that one. It was just in that last minute, I think. It really seemed to be. Oh, they got some really, really good kills off, so can change really fast. I mean, if you consider how much you can get for a kill, yeah. Uh, like if if you're being all sneaky and like super stealthy and like aerial and whatnot, like everything adding up, like yeah. you, you could actually really put your game in a lead with like having two of those kills. Can happen way too fast. Now, I mean, we already see how they're catching up. It's like ten thousand to twelve thousand eight hundred. So they're getting back again so hopefully the end of that map will be a lot closer we have still three minutes no four minutes almost left and uh locking that target nothing not very sneaky by uh running up will he get him well <laughs> i, I uh, think they're think using the baiting tactic there um by the looks of it uh they, you know, they showed just... themselves a little bit too obvious not yeah. being baiters uh not being baiting that way around yeah, that was that was an obvious one. But oh, got that one. Nice. It's not even a contested kill. That's good. And taking those 50 points for the ground finish as well. So, is another target. He's not going to go for that. He just switched his. Yeah, I. that's what I was doing as well. I, I try to always switch targets so that not everybody is always going after the same one. Mm. Um, because uh, you know, there's there's obviously enough players here that they can each get a target. <laughs> yeah. You know? So if they're one all going <laughs> after one, they're depriving themselves of points essentially. Yeah. So is he sneaky enough? Was he really nice? Like, or is he just sort of randomly targeting? Yeah, he's randomly targeting people. It can sometimes be very hard. To, oh dear! Yeah, they, <laughs> there goes it can the sometimes See, be very hard to pull out a push, a, a target in mm. a, a group. Yeah, I mean, it happens more than mm. often that you actually just miss miss targets, even though you meant to click yeah. on someone else. And I mean, if you have someone targeted and you jump in, you normally attack the one you targeted and, and not the one yeah. next to it. So it uh, can be very unfortunate. <laughs> now, being that this is competitive as well, when he missed his target, he offensive smoke bombed his target and missed him. He got the wrong one. I would have known myself that that was not the right one because... Um, playing, uh, you know, competitively, it was obvious to me that one of them would have been disguised. So the one he locked onto was not the right one. Mm -hmm. so, so. You just got to try and know your enemies. <laughs> I mean, it, it can be really hard for people who are not used to. I mean, I, I struggled a lot when I just started playing it for me to decipher the behavior of a real player as well as from like the, the NPCs, mm -hmm. like the civilians, as uh, they can run away. Like there's so many mechanisms to to confuse your opponents, to think that's like not you. So yeah, it can be really, really tricky. And I have to go down and once more, I think that target's the right one this time. Losing the target once more. But uh, they will put themselves back into the game. And we have one minute and 20 seconds left. And, uh, and it, it's getting closer and closer. So that is actually going to be a really close one in the end. Yeah. So that can be interesting. Having him... Oh, throwing oh, that smoke. Yeah. Well, that was really well done by Thibaut. Getting away. So having his target right there. And flying off into that... What is it's, that actually? Like leaves? It's, it a, it's look cotton. Like it's, cotton. It's, it's cotton. It's Virginian plantation. It's cotton fields. And so it's, uh, so it's a cotton So they like their cotton stacks lying around in the middle of the city. Yes. Do you really think that's what people would do? <laughs> yes, completely. Okay. <laughs> Next time I collect cotton, I'm going to put it in the middle of the streets. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so they <laughs> did catch up and got themselves into a lead now. So, uh, yeah, our uh, good French assassins, or assass assassin français, <laughs> they really have to uh, hide together right now, which I don't think they are doing. Oh, no, actually, two of them are at least hiding together. Actually, don't you uh, think they look like stacks of popcorn? <laughs> they actually do, now you yeah. mention it. Popcorn and now stacks. I get hungry. <laughs> I'd love to jump into a popcorn stack. It would hurt if you get it in the eye, though. <laughs> Although I wouldn't like cotton in my eye either. So I don't think that matters yeah. too much. <laughs> so, yeah, we are in the last few seconds of that first map right here. And it looks like this is going to be it for uh, Le Furtif. But will they get it? Yes, they will. No, they will actually lose it. Did they? No, I didn't see the score at last. I blinked. Did you see it? One. Who took the first map? I blinked when, when the last girl went up, but it was ticking up, so let's let's see. 
All right. So, the furtive. Le, le, le furtif? Fru, fru, furtif. Good turn. Yeah. The furtif, they won, yes. The, the ones dancing, <laughs> yeah. they won. Yes. So, that was, that was interestingly close at the end, even though at the, at the beginning it didn't quite look like it's going to be their game. <laughs> so they, as they've been a bit, uh, been a bit down yeah. to begin with. I don't like it. Sheeps is happy. Uh, look at him. <laughs> and seem even more happy. I don't know. I think you, you guys catch them dancing on stream. Oh, yeah. So we'll go into the next <laughs> map. So it's going to be interesting the to see which one, one is uh, that going to be. Did we see all of them already? I think we did, right? Or yeah, was that, was that, was all, all of the maps so far. No, yeah. th did we see the Boston Harbor? I can't remember Ooh, the Boston Harbor. Um, oh, I, I saw it with Tim. Okay, think, well, then you saw I, it and I didn't see it. Oh. Miss Boston oh. Harbor. Oh, no. Yeah. How unfortunate. How unfortunate. See, I already lost track. That's the second map we already saw, right? Yeah. The first one was a practice round. Oh, yeah, so the first that, one was a practice was round. See, now I'm confused. I'm terrible with numbers when I get <laughs> excited. So, yeah, that was the first one. We still have two to go. So still everything is open. And on the scoreboard, it should be nine now for the... Uh, Tom Placins? Tom Placins? Tom Placins? Tom Placins? Les oh, yeah, should be the, uh, yeah the they should like still have nine and that will put uh, le fur le furtif. Le furtif. Uh, le furtif. that should put them on nine now as well so they should be yes. equal so if uh, le, le ton place don't want to lose their lead they better hope for le furtif to not win either of those two maps yeah and i think if uh, if la sasa Assassin Francais, if they would win the next two, they would also have nine, wouldn't they? Yes, they three? would. Yeah. See, yeah, if they win the next tie. two, that, that would be a three-way tie, wouldn't it be? Yeah. They're all winners. They're they, all winners just yeah. for coming along, right? No, I kind of <laughs> hope they would have a three-way tie. I'm not going <laughs> to lie about that. But uh, obviously, I don't want uh, Les Furtifs uh, to, uh, to lose two maps now yeah. in a row. Although it will, it will make for an awesome day if it's 999. Nine, nine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. We but uh, I don't want to curse Harbor. it. Don't want to jinx it. And uh, the uh, map we're going to see right now is... Boston is Harbor. Boston Harbor. Yay! <laughs> as if yeah. God's hurt me. I, I, don't know. I like this map as well. I, I love playing this map with Artifact Assault and with Deathmatch. How so? Because there's some really easy routes. Um, so... Um, from one side of the artifact base to the other, it's just a really easy route uh, to take, you know, either from the rooftops or from the ground. And in Manhunt, there's some really good places to hide. There's a lot of... Um, all of these blend areas, there's so many of them around. And uh, those teammates are not working well together there. <laughs> Yeah, Black the just decided like to go off to by run into each other. Like, I'm something. there. I'm not yeah. scared. <laughs> yeah, he, he just doesn't care. <laughs> it's like, no, no. I does know where his target is, though. The question now, of course, is uh, will he get him? It's not being uber sneaky right now, but another target is uh, coming close to him. Didn't quite, uh, he won't get the sneaky kill. Oh but there is good <laughs> walking into the crowd, oh, and no. that gives uh, Diablo the... Uh, chance to make that first kill yeah that how, was how much points did he get for that? he only got 150 yeah. points for well, that it was very sneaky to, to run after someone like that yeah well i suppose the runner also you know deprived him of points no. but i don't think he did that deliberately i think he was genuinely just trying to get away <laughs> i <But> just run <laughs> there was a chase breaker right next to him that he could have run through but he didn't he mm. chose not to that could get an incognito kill if he gets it uh, no, not gonna happen. Or is it? Uh, if he gets him now, that will give oh. a lot of points. Ah, got back to silence. It's it's get, yeah, he, he rushed th that. No, oh. was that a, con a contested kill? No. No, I, no, I don't. Should think I have rushed to that? I, think, I believe. I it, think he would have gotten him, even though he didn't like run uh, into. Yeah, him. he didn't need to rush for that. Well, well. <laughs> but the, obviously, then the pressure's on. <laughs> yeah, that, that's very true. Like, uh, they really, really want to make those like next two maps as yeah, yeah. That will put them all count. even. So, yeah. as they are currently on the last spot with only three points. That was a good kill right there. Collecting a few points. They're currently in the lead, not by too much, but it's a lead. <laughs> 
might be sneaking up. It's currently incognito. Oh, oh yeah. that smoke bomb came a little bit too late. That was, that was like a waste of ability. If you're going yeah. to like throw an ability, try and throw it maybe, if you can, from a blend group. Just try not to be too obvious that you're doing it because you're going to be spotted and the other person will just run. They're not just going to stand there and let you do it to them. Yeah, I mean, it looks, a bit, it looks a bit <laughs> like... Uh, Obvious is there's like one bear like yeah. waddling alone and then standing for a second going like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a decoy do that. You must be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Odd. <laughs> How did I find out? So will he reanimate? Get those points? No. 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 <laughs> I see them oh, yelling dear. over there. Yeah. That's a good start right there. And he also will get away. And there's ah. Uh, there's a kill being made on the other side. Get smoke bomb, not a stun once more, but you really have to get out of there as uh, Rapido is, is he after him? Yeah, I think he stunned him with a knife and they are after him. Will they also get that kill? No area kill for Blackie and uh, he is running away. I don't actually know who they are following. Uh, he started another stun? chase. Another stun. Ooh. Now, I this is good. actually another really close match again yeah. and we've only got well, coming up 30 seconds left. Uh, yeah. Still, everything is, ha uh, is, is possible at this uh, state of the game. He will get that kill, but probably not getting too many points for that. No, not at all. 100 points, was that? It's Just better than 90, kill. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Better than 95. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> you can get that now. Yeah, be positive, fellows. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's still fairly close. That's still uh, not the biggest advantage they have going into the second round of the second map here, as the gap ain't that big. Good stun right there on him, and now the nice following up, so no kill being made right yeah. at the end. So we have 8,400 for... Uh, uh, assassins, uh, assassins, 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 assassins. Yeah, yeah, and, they, uh, they play well defensively there. They did. They really did. So, and now we see them obviously as uh, target, no, as pursuers, and uh, the live furtifs. I kind of forgot those names. No, they're they're, um, they're targets right now. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they It's are. just that one of them have, has just decided to go up on the rooftop. I think what he's trying to do is behave as a lookout so that, um, you know, he can watch out for the enemies coming along. Like, he, yeah, like he's well, going to do that. <laughs> I mean, he saw the enemy, so, like, standing next to him on the roof, and, and normally, uh, normally, like, civilians don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, they normally don't stand on the roof, so uh, it can look a little bit no. obvious. Oh, dear. I didn't uh, think he was going to get away with that. Uh, Bernie did. And there it comes to kill. She can get too many points. For, oh, actually, 500. That's not too bad. <laughs> it's better than 400, that's, right? That's true. <laughs> like 450 is so much worse. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Blackie being blending in and not really close even to his teammates. Although he just respawned, I believe. So I uh, guess he's trying to get back to them. Yeah. As soon as possible. He needs to get there a bit quicker than this. If he needs, it, you know, he wants these team points as well. He's going to have to work a bit oh, quicker. Yeah, but there, yeah, he definitely saw it. But him. he's got no abilities. Well, he has now. He's got the decoy. And he fell for it. Go back and get focus stun. Oh. He didn't. He chose to run. Whoa. Too worried. Too, he could too have scared. Had 350 points off of that, but he ran instead. Interesting choice. Is, uh, is he going on to uh, onto there to get to his teammates quicker? Yeah, yes, he is by the looks of it, yeah. Uh, um, well, one of his teammates were there. Well, now he just decided but to. He's gone not again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and there comes the knife. Well, he was very obvious. I mean, jumping off a roof and then following a crowd normally kind of yeah. you know, lo looks like. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Ah. Yeah, yeah. that was. Um, that was some strange gameplay. That they are not working well as a team at all. It just feels a lot like they're like just under pressure. I mean, as I said, they really need to have those two maps now to yeah. even have a chance. I mean, if they lose one map now, they don't have the chance anymore to actually gain the lead for today's win, at yeah. least. So uh, obviously for uh, Assassin Francais, everything is on stake. Yeah, so they really, really, really need to, to win. 
they really need to up their game. Yeah, they really um, do. And currently they are behind 6,000. And they, that's, uh, yeah. that's getting a bigger and bigger gap. And it's going to be harder and harder to actually get back. Good knife right there. Wanted to go for the smoke bomb right afterwards. Did go for the smoke bomb right afterwards. And a stun as well. Getting them some points now. Getting out of there as quick as can. But not quite I don't blame him, there. but then he's going to leave his teammate to die. Ah. Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know how, but he was still alive. <laughs> oh, and now he's, <laughs> he's not anymore. He's not so now, no. That's a big lead. And, uh, I mean, yeah, sure, oh, we still no, have two no. minutes, but... He's, he's baiting. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a good decision, though. Yeah. Like, I that, mean, they already are so far behind. They should really, really stick together. Yeah, they oh, really not should quite. not be playing like this because... I mean, I look at the score difference as well. Yeah. The, the, the opposing team are like 8,000 points ahead, right? And that's, that's like really, really hard for them to like get back on 8,000, 9,000 by now. Yeah. Having so they, they, should, they should play you a lot more defensive, it feels to me. Yeah, yeah. they're... They're, not, they're really they're not out there. Well. They're very, very offensive for, for targets, I would say. So this one now has a an animus hack. This is the minor hack. So he can actually kill anybody from a distance, but it can only be one person. And he won't get very many points for it at all. Something crazy, stupid, like 100. I see. Yeah. That's ah, not even using but it. Still, still, still getting killed, despite him having a... Did he have the other ones? No, he actually, wasn't. He had, all of them. Um, he had the knife ready, I think. I don't... Actually, I don't think he could have killed him. No? I, I've got a feeling... I, I, I'd like to be corrected if I am wrong here, because I don't use minor hack myself, but in the minor hack, I don't think you can kill a pursuer. I think it's only on target. But if, if anyone... Um, yeah, but that it would be a very, very weird choice of, like, your... I think this person's using maybe the same setup as what they would on some other... Okay. Uh, Interesting. Well, I... Hmm. Well, okay, I'm That's just wondering why he okay, didn't yeah, actually no use chance. that animus hack because he didn't have to wait until the, um, uh, that pursuer came that close to him. He could have killed him from a distance. Yeah. And I said, I mean, there were 10,000 in the lead. Uh, yeah. So, Assassin, uh, Assassin Francais, they, they, that was impossible to come back right there. Um, not the way they played, at least. So, I very much yeah. hope they're going to switch up their gameplay a little bit uh, for the next map. Maybe it was just like, I mean, it wasn't as obvious on the first one, so... They're, maybe they did just try to lull them into a false sense yeah. of security or something. <laughs> He's um. happy. One happy cheerleader. <laughs> I have no idea what they said. <laughs> they they could have talked about anything. Uh, they, yeah, they how, how's your French doing, by the way? Jelly beans. Jelly beans. They were yes. probably talking about jelly beans. <laughs> Did, did your French improve ever since you're around French people only? I'm picking up more words because, yeah, I've forgotten so much because yeah, I don't speak bad? it. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I am picking up and remembering things now. Yeah, it's fun, actually. I mean, we've been in quite some meetings, like getting ready for the stream, like talking through everything. Yeah. And, and a lot of those meetings have been in held in French, kind yes. of thing. <laughs> so us so non-French people were just like sitting there like, we. Oui? Oui? <laughs> yeah, très bien, très bien. We, we and, and every time you saw like little smiles and little proud faces whenever we picked up a word, I was like, yeah, I understood yeah. that. <laughs> I knew what they were saying. Yeah. Every now and then I think I, I knew what they were saying, but they said something completely different. Yeah. And then um, I'm confused. I'm like, why did she talk about butter? Yeah. And that was probably, probably <laughs> didn't say beurre, but uh, <laughs> never know, <laughs> never know. know. Maybe they were talking about breakfast somewhere in between. <laughs> I think they've been leading <laughs> us astray as well, haven't they? Probably. <laughs> yeah. I think they do that on purpose. I think they're yeah. only trolling us. Okay, they are in high spirits, as we just saw. Like, uh, yeah. Les Thieves, uh, they should be on nine points now as well, as they have been on six. Yes. No, wait, they should be on... No, they should... Uh, is it nine or twelve? Twelve. We'll have to wait and not see yet, if the score comes up. Nine or twelve. One of that is it. Uh, the, no, wait. What? The production guy is confusing me now. Don't yell numbers into my ear. <laughs> I, don't, I don't appreciate that very much. Okay, Le Furtif's got uh, twelve points. Uh, Temps Plassin, uh, nine, and uh, obviously Assassin Francais is still on three. Yes. That's so, unfortunate. Yeah, but we still we still have 
One more, no, two more to go. I'm so confused now. How many games did we see? This is the last one. This is the decider. Yeah, this is the last one. Them. Yeah. I'm, I'm like incredible confused. Yeah, There's like so I, many different um, rounds. I'm like, uh. <laughs> I was wondering that if they played that last match really badly, deliberately, or oh, we're in the Animus core. Um, if they oh play God. that last match badly, deliberately, just to try to lull them into this false sense of security, and uh, maybe now they might play well. Yeah, well, that would have, like, th they must have been counting the points, and they, they should have known that uh, that would actually, like, make them give up any chance yeah, of winning for they, today. They completely jeopardized themselves, in all honesty. Um, but. And uh, from what I've seen already, this match has been going for uh, not even a minute, and I can already see there's some of that very same behavior going on. I would be very surprised if they won this match. Yeah, we'll see about that, I guess, anytime soon. In exactly, uh, like, 10 minutes, I would say, yeah, <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this is gonna be the last one, Animus Call, and afterwards uh, we're gonna oh. count the points together. But right now it very much looks good for Les Furtifs because they are 12 points in the lead and uh, Le Templassin, they, they're not gonna play anymore. They, they played all their games today. So yeah. uh, they are nine points at the moment. So uh, actually, I, I don't think they can take the winner against from them. So Les Furtifs, they should already, yeah, they already have won. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. As I said, say they can't. They, they only have this much uh, more to play. They put them on six points, so uh, no chance of them for being anywhere. But that the the last map has been the only way for them to actually come back into it, yeah. make it a three-way tie, or make it a tie all together. So I, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's unfortunate. But still, I would say the games have been close as of now. I mean, except yeah. from the last one we just saw. I don't think that they should be complacent though. That that's not a very good way to be um well, we still have a second game day so uh tomorrow on domination each team can still show what they're made of and how good they yeah. are but yeah that was it's actually i, I like that if uh, if one team is uh, the uh, reason why another one can like come first or second so like if if your first place depends or your tie depends on how another team place yeah. that always makes me like <laughs> it, it must be really like put you in a weird spot i mean i've never been in that position as a player but like i, I think it must be like heart-wrenching yeah. to watch the games then because you're obviously rooting for the other team yeah even though I you kind of don't want yeah. them to win but so, like your position is is up to them so yeah. i've never played like that before quite honestly <laughs> because uh, yeah I, I think the um I, I, I've never really played competitive tournaments because I just generally don't because I like to play the game for fun. But but I have actually set up a tournament before for people and things like that. And it's, it is a lot of fun to do. Yeah. But competitively, for me personally, uh, is so much pressure. Well, that was <laughs> pretty obvious getting away there. But that was a very, very good uh, smoke bomb by Maletti and it gets done afterwards. But there is another one of their... Yeah, okay. That was the contest that killed them, an honorable death. But uh, I'm not sure if we should have gone in there again. I mean, it was pretty obvious it was the second one up there and the stun uh, would have been finished in just a few, like, milliseconds almost. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe playing a little bit too much out there. But Oh, that was a probably a little bit of a mistake from the other team. Yeah. They all walked through that chase breaker together. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, 9,400 currently the lead for yeah. Assassin's Francais. And uh, I mean, uh, I, I, I wouldn't have walked through that all together as a team because they all got smoke bombed, they all yeah. got stunned. And that's what can um, make um, like stun locks happen, you know? So that, that was a dangerous, um, pretty unwise choice on their part. Have we dropped a player? We've dropped a player. Uh, I guess he will be right back. Uh, 
Either way, it's one of the Le Furtif, so it doesn't really matter because that map doesn't even matter to them anymore. Technically, technically they could do anything they want right now because they're already in the lead in the scoreboard. They already yeah, got the, I mean, that's it will so be pro. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, they would have won the first day and that gives them two points yeah. for the day win. However, if they win the map as well, that gives them two points plus the, the, the three points, obviously, mm -hmm. for the last map as we do count the map scores. So if they... If they're clever and thinking with us, then they, they will consider <laughs> that. And if they just try to, like, you know... I was like, ah, we won now. It's yeah, a party more thing. Then they probably, uh, then they probably uh, just gonna like kind of drop in it and, and just yeah. uh, uh, as it seems a little bit like that. <laughs> I mean, true. running openly like that made them seem playing a bit cocky. Yes. Uh, so yeah, we'll see if they will continue that or take it a little bit more serious, taking into account I'm that they kind of yeah. need the points for tomorrow as well. They do. I think that they should take this seriously now. Uh, yeah, they, they yeah, have they should. to. They should. <laughs> They want to win. They want to win that amazing trophy. Ow, ow. I don't want them to win it so I can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this is gonna how uh, it's gonna be exactly how it's gonna work out. So uh, yeah, we're back in the game right now, and we're following Krico, Krico, Kriso. <laughs> One of these. We shall take it. <laughs> and uh, we've already uh, switched. So Les Furtives are now the pursuers, whereas uh, Assassin Français are going to be the targets. Uh, so let's see how much points they can make up for it. The gap is not very big at all. Good knife thrown there. A good second pair of knives coming up to him. And oh. the smoke He's, bomb. Wow. That was good. That was a lot of abilities to use on just one player. <laughs> yeah, probably a little bit too many. Yeah, I don't know. Like that, that puts them in a bad position right now <laughs> yeah because he really wants to make sure that he's yeah. he's out he, he's um yeah they kind of deprived themselves of the use of the abilities again in a short while this is I all i just really want to have those uh those three points maybe like mm. desperately <laughs> fighting for it. each point counts ladies and gentle ladies as tomorrow we will be playing domination and the points still count for tomorrow as well bless you tim <laughs> we had we had a stealth sneezer here in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting those animation uh, reanimation points and walking into that smoke bomb should have happened. Still getting the kill. Not very sneakily though. And uh, there is another opponent close by nice. and getting that one as Multi -kill. well. Multi kill. They're coming close up to a streak as well. How'd I do? Finishing them now and now uh, chasing off some more targets and uh yeah i mean now the furtives are uh, 700 points ahead we still have two minutes and 40 seconds so uh, it's still anyone's game here it, uh, everything can still happen and uh, as i said all the points count so obviously as a francais or should be the ones you should root for at least now they want to have those three points yeah. getting them six overall in the scoreboard for today mm. that's going to come in handy if they do really really well tomorrow ah, did he got yeah he got them it's always scary the moment when, when the corpse starts blinking and you're not sure if you get yeah. the fire. Did, did I kick in the right second? But yeah, yeah, he did. T boats going aggressively now. <laughs> I love how casually yeah, they they've walk changed their mind. Uh, no, I'm, I think I'll go the other way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was, was good. That was a terrible move on their part, though. I think he obviously saw him on the roof. I don't know why he decided to carry on walking in that direction. I'm not quite sure. I mean, his uh, his teammate should have saw the other one on the roof as well. So he should have should have told him something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dang, like, that's very sneaky. He took too much time doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe excitement is building up. We have one minute and 30 seconds left. It's still anyone's game. Still anyone's map here. And it is the last one we are playing today. So, yeah. Still both teams being able to collect some points. Plus, of course, the overall points you get for winning the day, which are already uh, for uh, Le Furtif. I still want to say yes. Duh. Well, they need to make up for things now anyway, because they yeah. are a man down. So... Are they uh, still? Yeah, it's still four players against three. Uh. I don't know what happened, where the other player's gone. Uh, he decided to just, like, you know... Nah. 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 
Oh, some good, nice, he should get a nice smoke bomb. He should get away, As he, no, he's actually not getting away. There's like three other teammates. <laughs> Lovely kill, at least it looked nice. Probably didn't get too many points for it. But uh, yeah, there are 3,000 in the lead right now. So now it's getting a little bit obvious for Le Furtif. So will... 20 seconds left. Yeah, uh, 20 seconds left. I don't think they're gonna be able to pull that off. <laughs> Nice smoke bombs, at least preventing the other team from getting more kills. There comes the kill and there comes the second one as smoke bomb goes down. So more points obviously for the Furtifs and I think that is it. The last few seconds are counting down and the Furtifs won that one. They won. They won. They won. They won the day, in they fact. Won. You can hear, look at, oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a big celebration going and on there. And they are happy, they are happy. <laughs> and for a good reason, oh, look at that. <laughs> Celebration dances even. Yeah, show me the dance of your people. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That was, we, we got a winner for today. We got a winner for today. Oh, we got our winners for today, even more so. And uh, I mean, I don't want to say I said so, but I said so. I did, I did, I did, I did say the <laughs> Fertis are going to be first. <laughs> And uh, yeah, now we see uh, Assassin Francais, which unfortunately only have three points today, do they? They only have three. Yeah, but I mean, still tomorrow is everything. Everything is still possible. It still will get those points. You guys have been watching those games as well. So, w what's your opinion? Have you been surprised at the outcome, or or not at all? After the first match of seeing the Fertif, uh, no, not really. The, they kind of dominated throughout the whole thing. So, yeah, um, it was uh, very impressive to watch them play. But you know, they've got a huge lead now. And uh, like you were saying, going into tomorrow, they uh, already have a big advantage. However, on their first games, I thought, um, so, as a son of Francais, <laughs> AFR, well done. should I say, uh, <laughs> I was like, they're going to win. I was with them in the room, and I was like, okay, they're going to do this. And they're getting all excited, and the captain was saying, okay, run around the map, but I think they lacked some maybe team spirit at that precise moment where they could have made a difference. And maybe if they won the first game, it, they would have been... Better it would spirits. Have been maybe, yeah, like. it would have been a bit maybe scary for it. Like, not scary, mm. but their enemies, like uh, the Furtif, maybe they <laughs> would have, like, been more cautious or been more, like, eh, hesitant. And now they're, like, they have a complete lead. However, uh, I know that Domination is not their favorite mode. So, and they, they've only, like, from what they told me, they've only played it um, recently because they knew it was going to be one of the modes of the tournament. So that, that could be interesting to see. Yeah, so we see the overall scores for today. Le Furtive with a 15-point lead. And that's quite a lead, to say the least. Templassin are going to be on the scoreboard with nine, and Assassin Francais are with a three points down. Although, with this point, I mean, the same thing can happen the other way around tomorrow, and that will put them all close mm. again. And I mean, as you just said, like, they really, it felt like they didn't play cautious enough. What do you, you think, is that, is that a nerve problem, maybe? Because they got so, like, under pressure, like, we have to win yeah, those points I, now? Or, like, what do you think was, was the problem? I don't know what was going through their minds. I don't. We're going to find uh, out. Yeah, and, and we're going to question them in English, and they're just going to look find at us, like, lost go. little seals, and go, like, <laughs> They're totally out of their minds. No, I don't know. Just, yeah. Yeah. Let, let's all go up as a team and go like, yeah. what was wrong with you guys? <laughs> Why is Guess go set. <laughs> Guess go <cassette. laughs> Guess go <cassette. laughs> Let's be <laughs> French. They speak French. They're all French players. I'll see if one of them speaks English though, so maybe we can interview them to see what they're saying. Mm. I'm just going to speak English to them. I. I don't, can, he, <laughs> I don't care if I get an answer, it's just like... They, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> they speak like perfect French, as I noticed. Yeah, I might... We all noticed that, still we? <laughs> ish. It's perfect-ish. I don't know how many times uh, you've managed je to suis say... Ravi de ici? No, je suis ravie de... D'être ici. See, that was so close. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, wow. it, But that's the thing, it's now every you time... you say something in French. Come on, It's come every on, time so close. On, French. Say something. Merci beaucoup. Ah. Oh. That was pretty. <laughs> you have some French skills too, don't you? Ça <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Sorry. Well done. Tr très bien. Merci. You have no idea what uh, you just said. De rien? De rien? De rien. De rien. De rien. De rien. De rien. Si? 
<laughs> so, uh, oh, very French, though, is it? So, once more, please, people, give us feedback. Go, go and tell us what you thought of the first day. Did you understand what was going on, or did you not at all? We posted a forum post on the official forum. So, if you go to forums.ub.com and you click Essence Screen Multiplayer, you'll be able to please give your feedback. Please. <laughs> do it we like we welcome feedback so much as long as it's constructive that would be better but uh oh you just praise us to heaven so that's okay too yeah well uh, but we also want constructive feedback <laughs> please <laughs> Yes. Yes. Now, because as as we mentioned uh, right at the beginning, this is the first time uh, Assassin's Creed of Three multiplayer is going to be on the tournament. So obviously, it's going to be very interesting for everyone involved to see how you guys uh, felt watching it. Like, is there anything about the game or, or like the the tournament system itself? Just anything you can think of which you would like to have differently, and and give us good reasoning for it as well. I mean, saying like it was bad or it was good, as it's nice. Well, one of them is nice, <laughs> but uh, like it's not quite helping to improve. And, and the, the, the goal of Ubisoft and everyone involved obviously is to improve, to give you guys at home the best experience watching it and like, getting excited with us and enjoying it with us. So, so make sure to, to help us, help you. That's, uh, that's basically the message of today. And also don't steal and be nice to your neighbors. And, you know, I like that love. message. <laughs> help us help you. Yeah, help us help you. Please. It sounds fantastic. Yeah, doesn't it? I'm trying to we could have like, that could have been good closing words, so now we have to continue talking. That puts us in a really bad spot. You wanna say something? Um, yes, well, thank you for watching. Uh, it's been really cool uh, just being able to commentate on this. It's been a very exciting day so far. We've got a huge day coming up tomorrow as well. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. I mean, uh, Manhunt, it's a great game. It's very exciting to watch. But Domination, I think that's going to be even more exciting to watch. So it's going to be even better tomorrow. So how, how was your day? I mean, has there been any highlights for you? Any games you remember in particular? Any moments you would like to point out and once more have us all uh, thinking of it? Oh, gosh. That, there's so many. No pressure, but, but I, say I one. Just think, I just <laughs> <laughs> My matches. <laughs> no, I, I think everybody... <laughs> <That's a bit laughs> That's the way. That's it. That's how we would have yeah. gone. Yeah. No, that's good. I it's think good. everybody has done a really good job today. I mean, even the crew behind the scenes as well. Definitely. Um, you know, people out there don't see half of what goes on here, and it's a lot of work that's gone into this. And Ye the whole thing has just been really memorable for me. Yeah, there. Like when I arrived here yesterday, I was amazed by the number of people that are working on there. Uh, there's that guy right here that's like recording that us, <laughs> and there's our director that we're talking. Or not, we're not really talking to him. We're well, talking, he's talking to, to me, apparently. You guys, but he's talking we to you, you. So <laughs> a lot. Anyway, a lot of people <laughs> working with us. It, your comment disturbed me. I know, right? I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I wanted to thank everybody, and then you. That I, I had to. Go one step too far. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Happens. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. And they're going to be helping us tomorrow. So they'll need an extra thing tomorrow as well. So uh, going back to your question about the best moments of the day, definitely the, um, I don't know, it was about seven stuns almost in a row uh, of the, I forget, I think it was Templar Assassin versus the uh, f uh, Assassin Francais. Yeah. And I think it was Templar Assassin. I think it was the Lord Junior player, uh, the, the guy called Lord Junior. It was amazing to watch. It was really, really cool. Lots of smoke being used, yes. A few yeah. mistakes on uh, the, uh, the, the other team's part. They didn't respawn when, when they'd lost control of it. But still, very impressive to watch. So very cool, really exciting to see. Definitely. I can agree with everything which was just being said. I mean, it's just been interesting also to see like how they deal with, with the nerf issue, which can be there, as those players haven't been on big tournaments or anything beforehand. So it's interesting to see also how they will play tomorrow. I mean, except from it being another mode, it's also like they will feel more confident. They, they know now what they can expect. They already played against the other teams, yeah. so they, they will now be more familiar with the style they have. So it, and the environment obviously is going to grow on them so that's definitely going to make for for very interesting and maybe even closer games tomorrow as the first few we saw today have been as close as can be i mean it's been it's been coming down to sometimes the last few yeah. seconds so uh, i very much hope we're going to see the same thing tomorrow again mm. And um, I'm not sure, like, because the production doesn't tell me to stop talking, if we're supposed to keep on talking and keep on praising, because I can do that for another hour, if you ask me. But uh, I 
think uh, most of everything has been said. So uh, once more, thanks to everyone watching. We've been enjoying doing that for you. Once more, reminding you, go to the forums, go on Twitter, go on everywhere you can. Give us feedback. Thanks a lot for joining us. And uh, in the name of everyone, I would say bye. Good night. Thank Bonsoir. You. Bye. And see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night.